John Adams' Letters from the Front podcast, September 1914. This podcast looks at life in World War I through the letters of John Adams, who was 23 when he joined up in September 1914. He served with the 9th Service Battalion, Royal Irish Fusiliers, and was involved in many significant events in the Western Front, particularly Passchendaele. These are his words, read by his grandchildren and narrated by his great-grandchildren. My name is Mark Adams and John Adams was my grandfather. The purpose of this podcast is to bring alive the terrible history from 100 years ago. World War I was arguably the first war fought by ordinary people. In Britain there was conscription, but because of the civil unrest it was never introduced in Ireland. But ordinary men volunteered in their thousands. Catholics and Protestants, Unionists and Nationalists, people left their island problems behind to fight for a world solution. While there are memorials and gravestones to help us remember, it is the personal testimonies that bring that time alive and my grandfather wrote home and these are the words we broadcast. I do wonder though, from reading the letters, what were the things that he left out? that he could not tell his mother. These are his words from a world war. September 1914 When war was declared on the 3rd of August 1914, the world changed, no more so than an island where civil war was just weeks away. On but September the 3rd, the leader of the Ulster Unionists gave, us, gave an emotive speech appealing to the men of the Ulster Volunteer Force to go and help their country and empire for the honour of Ulster and Ireland. He made the promise that the men of the Ulster Volunteer Force would fight together in their own division. The next day, the Ulster Volunteer Force mobilised and recruitment began, starting in Belfast and moving around the country. John Adams enlisted on the 24th September 1914 for Royal Irish Fusiliers. These are his words. Postcard showing a cosy corner. How far the rural scene. Addressed to Mrs. J. Adams, Lissa Dean. Postmark Belfast, 23rd September 1914. We got here all right. Many met us at the station and took us home with her. We are stopping with her tonight. Tell A and J I will write later. JC. On way to enlist. Postcard showing Fountains Abbey. Address to Mrs. J. Adams Lissadoon. Postmarked Belfast, 23rd September 1914. We arrived here safe and was padded all night. We are stopping with Minnie tonight and going to camp in the morning. We'll write later. J.A. On the way to enlist. From John Adams' personal note. Enlisted on the 24th of September 1914 for Royal Irish Fusiliers, Clandyboy, County Down. The 9th Service Battalion, County Armagh, was formed in Belfast in September 1914 from the Armagh, Monaghan and Cavan Volunteers. Came under orders of 108th Brigade in 36th Ulster Division. C Company, 7th Battalion RAF, Clandy Boy Camp, County Down, September 1914. Probably 27th of September 1914, first Sunday after John Adams enlisted on 24th of September, very possibly his first letter home in World War I. Dear Mother, just a line hoping it will find you and all in good health, and it leaves us in the same at present. I think this is the first Sunday I will have ever been away from home all day. And it's very hard to say when I will be back, for we are going to get a sh uh, the shift from here as soon as we get our uniform, and I do not know when we may get home. There's an awful lot of UV here, and you need not be afraid of so long as they are on the top of the earth. I wish you would hear them sing at night all the orange songs of the day. We had Sir E. Carson and his wife here yesterday, and they inspected our lines. It is a wonderful life this, we have to, uh, to do things here we would not like to do at home. It is a queer change when Jimmy and I could not lie together, sixteen of us lying together here. Every man has to lie on his side and you could not turn to the right or left, 
but you need not think by telling you this that I do not like it, for I fairly enjoy it. There is a lot here that we know. We see S. Moffat every day and S. Crozier boy too. As soon as he heard we were here, he came here to see us, and he sent a PC to Jenny in Hollywood, as I do not know the address. We have a sergeant stopping in our tent with us, and he is great fun. You might not care what you said to him as long as you were not on parade, but it is very hard to watch the officers all for they are still knocking about. You may excuse the scribble, for we are writing on the grass, so it is not very level, but if we were in the barracks we might be alright. They are saying around here that we are for Portsmouth, and from that go to Egypt, but it might be some time uh, to that yet. I hope you get this before you write, as I sent the wrong address, but if you have it, it does not matter. You can tell all around that I was asking for them. I hope Mrs. McComb is better now. You tell Jimmy that they are starting a number in the North Antrims. We had a great church parade today. I think this is all. Remember me to all at home. I remain your loving son, J. Adams. Thank you for listening to John Adams' Letters from the Front podcast. To find out more about John Adams and his family, visit www.johnadams.org.uk forward slash letters. The history of the 9th Service Battalion, Royal Irish Fusiliers, during World War I is taken from Blacker's Boys. Visit them at www.9thirishfusiliers.co.uk with the number 9. Podcasts will be published a hundred years after the letters were written, so will be published nearly every month. If you would like to contact us with comments or reactions, the email address is letters at johnadams.org.uk. This has been a Mark's Mass production. <laughs>